everyone. So today's ASMR haul is a little bit different to the kind of things that I normally haul. As I normally haul DVDs um, or occasionally beauty items, but these are in none of those categories. It's divided into two. We have things from Paper Chase, which I picked up uh, earlier on in the week. And then we have a few things that I got in Hampstead when I went down there, what is technically this weekend, but by the time this video goes up it'll be in the distant past unfortunately. I've already taken them out of the carrier bags because the carrier bags are quite thick and heavy duty and therefore they're quite noisy. But we'll just get straight in with this. I think some of the things make some really interesting sounds. And this will be a mixture of soft-spoken and also whispering as well. So hopefully it will cater to both interests. And I'm just going to move the camera a little bit closer to me. While I nudge the caviar bags. Okay, so the first thing is actually the last thing I bought. Um, we have... Hampstead tea. Um, Hampstead tea is, I believe, sold in other places, not just Hampstead. But I got this from Budgeons in, well, Belsize Park. And as you can see, I picked up the English breakfast one. And they're all different flavours. If you go to the website, which is, well their PO box is actually in Hampstead. Um, when I went onto the website last night it seemed to signpost me to Buckinghamshire. But yeah, if you can hopefully see that, hampstedtea.com and of course they're on Facebook and Twitter as well. Yes, I got the English breakfast one. They do fruit teas, iced teas, do all sorts of different things. And they are fair trade. Now these are not cheap. I'm going to be quite blunt about that. But nothing in Hampstead is. Um, they were Roughly the £2.50 mark for 20 sachets, so I'm assuming 20 tea bags. I don't actually know what they look like, so we shall have a look just now. Let's say they look like normal tea bags, but really you never know these days. Um, I've never had such issue getting into a box of tea bags, but yes, they were. They might have been £2.30. They were £2 something for 20 tea bags. Which isn't great. I may have just ripped the box there. Right? Um, but it's not as if, for me at least, they're not everyday tea bags. They're for when I'm feeling spiritually homesick and I want to be in Hampstead and I'll drink some Hampstead tea when I'm in the mood for tea. I don't know, it's because I write about Hampstead I find that I totally screwed this box up. Um, I find that the more I can write about Hampstead I get inspired by things based to Hampstead. I totally wreck the box. really strong. This is what we have on the inside. So it says 20 sashes. I'm not sure if they're one use only. Um, some tea bags specify that they're only to be used once. Basically so you can't complain if you use them twice and say that they don't have a strong flavour. Whereas these 
you'd think for the price would be um you'd get at least two uses but we'll see. That's little. So on the back, it says, Our English breakfast carefully balances the best of our fragrant Darjeeling tea with a malty toffee Assam tea, both from India's most famous tea growing regions. Excellent with or without milk and a refreshing drink for any time of the day. Ingredients, black tea. No idea what that was. So, I'm very much looking forward to trying that. And it can just be a special treat whenever I go down to Hampstead, I'll pick up a box or two. Might try any of their other flavours. Yeah, so that's the first item. And it won't take this out of the box, but I'll show you it here. We have what is called a lovely mug. Needless to say. This is a mug. In fact, I will take it out of the box because you can't, you can't actually read it from where I put it. This is from a company called Bluebell33. And I actually got this in a shop in Belsize Park called Lotus and Frog and it's a lovely little gift shop that sells um, candles and cards, uh, children's toys, things like that and obviously I write about Hampstead as I said for those of you who don't know my novels are set in Hampstead and there is nothing more inspirational than drinking a cup of Hampstead tea out of my hamstead mug while I'm sitting trying to bring hamstead to life on paper. So for me it's, if you're a creative and you create certain things or you have a running theme, you may find the same that you're inspired by related content. So this was £11 something, £11.95 I think. And he also had one that had um, like uh, loads of names on it. It had like Hampstead, Belsize Park, Swiss Cottage, Finchley Road, Chalk Farm, Kentish Town, all these different names. Um, but I wanted this one. As you can see it says Hampstead, NW3. Hampstead being the postcode. NW3 Primrose Hill, that's the other name that was written across. And this is the same on both sides. And I just I saw it and had to have it. So I'm really happy with that one. Uh, it went off fantastically. my Hampstead tea. So now we get to the paper chase things. So I got two pens and a pack of cards. So the cards first. I wasn't actually going to buy anything in paper chase. Um, I was walking past and I saw these cards. Well I saw their, their range of Christmas cards and I thought I need Christmas cards. I'll have a wee look. They're gorgeous. 
This is a pack of eight charity Christmas cards and envelopes. 50 pence contribution per pack sold. They're £3.50. Um, so I guess that's an alright contribution, but it could be better. Um, but this goes to Water Aid. And we have here what should be the London Underground. So we have Circle Line, the Northern Line, Victoria. Different but the names are Christmas Pride. So we have Silent Knightsbridge, Ho Ho Holborn, Angel, Mornington Present instead of Mornington Crescent, Tinsel Court Road instead of Tottenham Court. Puddington, Three Kings Cross, Brussel Square, Stocking, Holyway Road, Crimbledon, Santa Paul's, which to be fair kind of makes sense anyway, Mold Street, Three Wise Minster, uh, Hollyland Park. <laughs> I feel like they should have actually changed this one because otherwise it now just sounds disturbing. Shepherd's Bush and Grinch Hill. I believe that is them all. Could be another one under this sticker. Um, I'm currently not in the market for finding out. But these are just for my neighbours and people like that. I just thought they were really pretty because some people know I like Christmas but I'm not really a reindeer and robins and Santa Claus kind of person. I prefer things that are a little bit different and these kind of fit the bill for me. So I was saw them and then just fell in love with them and kind of had to have them. See, is that the northern line? I lied. That's not the northern line. That's the northern line. I've looked black before. But yeah, so that's those. Then we have two pens. So sticking with a the Christmas theme. That's a Jesus. Obviously I'm a spiritualist so this actually means something to me, it's not just a bit of fun, uh, but at the same time it's very fun. It's uh, not entirely sure what it's made from, but it's resin possibly, I don't know. But it's quite heavy, not a nib, and this was £2.75, which I actually thought it was really, really cheap for this, for paper chase. You also get a Mary one, um, which I didn't get, but it's just a bit of fun. It is obviously quite hard to write with, um, but that's generally the case with quite chunky pens anyway. It definitely is a novelty and not something that you could write with for hours at a time. And then I did the last thing in the haul, I got a pen that is nice to write with, um, and this uh, travelling with me recently when I went down to Hampstead. So it's a clicky pen. And it's kind of bizarre but also really great. So it's this was two fifty. And both pens write in black, by the way, which is like essential for me. And it we have here Big Ben and it says London. Then we have a wee English rose and playing card symbols and some random butterflies, a crown, a random fan, um, a postage stamp. So it's and another wee English rose. It's quite girly, not what I'd normally go for, but obviously I love London, so I kind of 
Everything but Jesus is London based in this haul. I've only just noticed that. Um, yeah. But I kind of liked it and it was either this or like polka dot pens and things and I thought no I want something that kind of has a bit of my personality in it. So yeah, I really do like that and it's a good writer. So there we have the end of this haul. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do like me doing kind of really random miscellaneous hauls that don't necessarily slot into specific categories, uh, let me know because in life I do sometimes buy some really random things. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy to do some more. Let me know what you think and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!